us. General Sana, you know, we're focusing on the true face of Taliban and uh, another visual now supporting the same, getting another reality check from Afghanistan. This video is from the Makroyan area where the Taliban is calling an Afghan civilian a thief. Makroyan area where Taliban is calling an Afghan civilian a thief. So the assault on Afghan civilian continues since the longest time now. The past few days have been extremely difficult for the civilian population there. You know, since the morning, we've been breaking down so many of these visuals uh, that go on to reveal the true face of Taliban, the new Taliban that is on one hand promising of a peaceful future for Afghan civilians there, but the reality completely different than what they're claiming, at least when they're talking to the media and in a sense trying to project a very peaceful Taliban in that sense overall. A reality check once again coming in. These are visuals where you can see this Afghan civilian surrounded by uh, people from the Taliban. So you have Taliban fighters who've essentially surrounded this particular man and accused him of being a thief. Now, Aarti, you know, these kind of pictures coming in every few hours, uh, it is concerning indeed. You have Taliban, you know, opening fire at the Kabul airport. Uh, hijacking some of those security agencies who are still guarding the embassies there and so on and so forth. Even, you know, trying to enter, forcibly enter some of those uh, residence houses. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable, but this is what everyone hoped for when they saw Taliban return. Well, uh, if you remember what they did in the 90s, you know, the videos are still on YouTube. You can check on the internet. Everybody who wants to really understand what Taliban is, they need to see the videos that came out of Afghanistan in the 90s when they took over. Um, and if you remember the kind of violence they perpetrated against women, for example, for, say, theft or infidelity, very small crimes, it was horrendous. It was no different from Islamic State, ISIS. So there isn't really much difference between ISIS and Taliban. These are, I would say, the same thing, same ideology, same mindset with two different names. Anybody who thinks that Taliban, this Taliban is going to be different because they uh, are born, some of them are millennials and some of them are born, were born in the information revolution era, need to understand that Taliban stands for Islamic State. They want to establish, uh, they want to establish Ummah, they want to establish Islamic Caliphate, and they want to be seen as an Islamic State. So in under Islamic State, these are the laws that they will follow. If you, uh, if you remember the kind of violence ISIS committed against people in Syria and Middle East, and other parts of Middle East, you will remember that they, they continually have been defending those actions because they think that that's what has been uh, entitled to them by Sharia laws. So to expect that Taliban is going to be more merciful, it's going to be more humane is, I would say, again, uh, a delusion because Sharia law, if implemented in its uh, in its, uh, you know, uh, by the teeth, I, I would say that, you know, you these are the images that you will see. You will see women being stoned to death. You will see, uh, you know, uh, boy, people getting their uh, hands and wrists cut for, uh, for theft. These are the punishments under the Sharia law. Now, uh, I would really want to say this once again that it's the America, Americans and the NATO forces who have left this entire territory of Afghanistan to the wolves. These are barbarians. Taliban is a very regressive force, no different from ISIS. No different from ISIS. People may say that Taliban is only Afga Afghanistan specific, Absolutely. but please, mind you, their objective, their mission, and their purpose is to uh, have the same Islamic you State know, the, that ISIS... They're, they're very establish. well aware that the world is watching and their political leadership is eager to counter negative press uh, and avoid criticism coming in at this 
at this point in time, but the reality is for everyone to see. And our heart goes out to these innocent Afghan civilians, really, who've tasted freedom, freedom for the past 20 years. And look at how they're uh, being thrown back from where they really came out. Uh, Aarti and uh, General Sinha, stay on with us. We need to slip into a very short break here.